lovelies, tis I, Clovis. Um, in today's video, we are doing another Valentine's Manny. So this will be my um, last actual Valentine's Manny. My next video will be anti-Valentine's. But today I am using um, iGel Beauty First Date. And you are going to see a few complications that I had with this color. Um, most eye gel beauty stuff I don't have a problem with. I quite like it. But this color gave me some issues that I did not appreciate. So I um, rolled my jar around to swirl the powder, mix it all up and everything beforehand, which I usually do on before I start a mani or a video or whatever. I'll roll my jar around and try and mix up the powder some and then start. And so I did that and I was still finding some like random lighter spots and darker spots in this color. So you see me stir it again and... I end up, after the first layer, I scrubbed the powder off and I was still seeing some random and weird like opacity issues. Some places were darker, some places were lighter, some places were still bald. It was kind of a mess and it... I. <clears throat> I don't know. It was just kind of a mess. And so, um, when I went in with my second layer, I wasn't sure if I was going to end up stopping after my second layer or end up needing a third layer of this color, but it was a little bit of a mess. So, I am going to uh, let y'all watch this and I'll be back for the second layer. All right, so I'm done with the first layer and I am closing my jar and I'm going to shake it and roll it again. And just trying to make sure everything is all mixed up in there. And I'm going in with my second layer. I don't know if you can, how easy it is to tell on camera really, but it was just, it wasn't to my liking the way most of their dips are when I do my nails so that was kind of frustrating this is like the first 
um, iffy. I don't want to say bad, but the first iffy experience that I've had with eye gel beauty powders. So, um, going in with my second layer, and throughout this, you'll see me, like, through the second layer, stir and mix, trying to keep that color at the top just even enough to where I won't have any random, like, baby, baby pink areas and some that are a little bit more white because that's what it was it was I don't know it was it was like the white powder with the pink didn't want to fully mix like it should have and that was the problem I was having so I was just trying to keep all that color even at the top at least for the dipping part you know so yeah I, um, made it through this process eventually. Now, at the end of my mani, like, because I did clear cap. I clear capped, um, this pink as well. Uh, you won't see that, but I did clear cap it. And at the end, after top coating and everything, and when I was taking my mani pictures, I did notice there were just a few little spots that were still like, do they just didn't have any color to them? And thankfully, it was more of, like, on the sides of my, of one of my nails that I noticed that. And so it didn't bug me super bad, but it was just enough that I was, like, I, like, I like, I love the color of it when it comes out good and works, but I, I don't know. So I don't know if I recommend this color or not. It's cute color, but it's kind of a pain to work with. So I'm activating that. I am going to file and buff, which I will have a filing video coming out and it will be on this Manny. So you guys will see that. Now I am using my Maniology stamping plate. I do have an affiliate code with them. Clovis will get you 10% off at checkout. So go check them out and get some stuff and use my code i will appreciate you um i do have a stamping video i will leave that in the cards um my stamping 101 so i just am using the jet black polish and luckily and thankfully i did get this on the first try that does not always happen. Sometimes it takes a few, but I feel like if you go into the situation confident, nine times out of ten, you'll get it on the first try. Just go in there and be like, I got this. I can stamp. I'm going to get it on the first try. Don't question yourself and just do it and you should not have any problems. You, I feel like it's mind over matter when it comes to stamping 100%. So I am doing little hearts now on my ring finger and I'm doing them pretty close together like in pairs. I'm doing the hearts in pairs because I am going to be making little heart cherries. They're going to be little cherry hearts. So I am doing these two. I'm going to do all my hearts um, all at once and then I'm going to flash here and then I'm going to do the stems. So. I am doing um, the bigger ones there, front and center at the end of my nail, and then I'm going to do a few little accent ones um, off to the side of my nail and the other side of my nail. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you guys because I 100% know this Manny does not make an ounce of sense. It really doesn't. I've got the, you know, it's Valentine's themed. Yeah, cool. But what I was thinking with the whole jar of hearts and cherry hearts and then this random situation that you're gonna see here in a minute on the middle finger with black red and the green to try like i i don't know so i flash cured my hearts now i'm going in with my green and when i'm done with my green with the stems i'm just pulling them from the center of the heart up and connecting them um so they're like little you know, two little cherries, but, and then I'm going to cure that for a full minute. 
So this finger was the finger that, um, oh, these hearts, these hearts, these hearts, these are, I did not like the way it was coming out. So I ended up wiping it off and I wiped, I did this, this fingernail took me the longest. It really did. I didn't have any problems stamping, any problems with the cherries. No, this finger was like out to get me. So I am trying to do a heart what in the center of my nail and I don't know it didn't go the way that I wanted it to and then I finally got it right I wiped this heart off I didn't show you every time that I wiped it off but I wiped it off like three or four times before I finally got it the way I wanted it and then after that I did flash cure I flash cured it because I did not want it to go anywhere so I fold I cured it and now I was trying to write love across my nail and that wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. I tried it a few different ways. I even tried it with a different brush. I was trying to make another little heart for the V to try and see. So I ended up just wiping that off a few different times. And when I wipe off the gel, I just use alcohol and a paper towel. That's all I use, alcohol and a paper towel and just wipe it off. Um, it just, see, I'm using my different brush. Like, I just couldn't get it right. So I ended up calling it quits on that whole situation and decided I'll just do this finger full of hearts. So I start off with black hearts randomly, littler. I wanted the red heart to be the star of the show. So I'm going in with little accent hearts around it. And I'm doing black and then I am going to add green. So I felt like this nail was just, it ended up being like the pull the whole thing together nail. You know, I had black on one finger, red and green on another finger. So I needed to have all three on this finger to try and pull the whole mani together. So it was a little bit of a mess. And yeah, I 100% was all over the place with this mani. And at the end, did I like it? I did. Was I still a little irritated that I didn't know fully what I was doing when I did it? Yes, but it was fine. <laughs> I'm kind of a mixed up, jumbled up person anyways, so, you know, why not let my nails express that too? You know, that's just how it is. <laughs> so I'm actually doing something very different today. And I'm going to be doing matte nails with actual matte nail polish or gel polish. I'm not going to be buffing my top coat to get it matte. I'm going to legitimately be using gel um, matte polish. So this is the Model 1's um, matte gel polish. And I didn't have any issues with this, surprisingly. It didn't peel on me or anything um thankfully so that was very very nice um and I loved the velvet finish that it gave the nails I really did like um the overall finish of them so this was a good matte gel polish I have no complaints though I'm still holding out Megan hear me hear me please Megan I'm hoping that Manny Boss will launch a matte two-in-one gel top coat because we all know I'm obsessed with their regular two-in-one gel base and top coat. So a matte one would be chef's kiss. Amazing. So anyways, I'm doing uh, this. I am capping my edges. I always cap my edges because I wear pill base, so capping my edges just ensures a little, a couple extra days until I'm ready to take them off. And I'm going to be curing that for a full minute. And then I am going to be taking my Manny Boss 2-in-1 gel on a um, nail art brush. And I am going to be topping this um on top of my red heart in the middle of this nail. This will be the only thing on this mani that is glossed and I really really like the way that that ended up looking. Everything else was matte and smooth and then I've got this little ounce of 
sparkle shine situation so that is the mani guys i hope y'all enjoyed and i will catch y'all in the next one bye bitches.